What's going on, everyone? I think we are officially live. Welcome, everyone. I'm sorry I couldn't say hello to as many people before because I was talking with Janet. She will be joining us really soon. She is from the English era. And in today's English lesson, we are going to be asking each other questions called Would You Rather questions. Would you rather? And that means you have two choices. You must pick one, only one. You can't do both. You can't do zero. But before we get started, I would like to welcome a new member, Shondon. I hope you're doing well. I have a little something for you. Every time there is a new member, I play this. I'm thinking I might update it in the coming weeks, but for right now, welcome to the club. Here we go. New member. Make sure you check the members tab for the discord, the members chat, and the bonus videos. Yeah, so make sure you check out that members tab. If you are a gold member, you have access to the volley server. If you are a silver member, join us on discord that's for gold members too but we chat in there almost every day sending text messages back and forth to each other talking about the weather asking questions sometimes i will take questions from the discord and make a special members video each week you get a special members video too so thank you i also saw that tanya I didn't know you could do this, but Tanya gifted Mode a membership. At one time, YouTube was allowing that, and then they took it away. So it's back now. So Tanya, thank you. Uh, let's do this one more time. Even though Mode is not a new member, but he's a new member this month. New member. Make sure you check the members tab for the Discord the members chat, and the bonus videos. All right. Janet is having some problems because it's saying she has to connect to her um, personal, personal account. That's not good. We don't want that. All right. Um, let's see if I can send her another invite. This is live, by the way. Did you know that? This is live. I probably can't send anything while this is going. Yeah, it says not eligible. Oh, dear. Why is that happening? That's not cool. I'm telling her that's not cool. Yeah, because um, I'm sure she has a personal email. I mean, a personal Facebook. But you don't want to have your personal Facebook connected with... um you know, connected with uh, what we're doing here. Oh, no. So maybe she's not joining us. We may have to uh, improvise. If you improvise, that means you weren't planning on something, but you're going to do it. Uh, okay. So she can connect with her YouTube. Ah, that is weird. Facebook, though, is a little strange sometimes when connecting to... Just like if you remember last week, I streamed with another streaming service and I was not able to connect my Facebook. It was only my, my personal Facebook. So Freddie says, nice to meet you. She is going to be here very soon. Let's say hello to a couple people in the chat there. If I can say names. Mega. That's a different Mega. We have one Mega who's been with the channel for a long time from India, and it looks like another mega, spelled a little differently. And it does look like Brazil is in the house. Adriana, maybe Brazil is in the house a couple times. Thailand, welcome. Oh, I just heard a pop in my ear, which I think me that means Janet is arriving. So I'll give her a second. I wanna get, I don't wanna put her on the spot, but she probably just had a stressful situation. Like, what is going on? Why can't I connect my Facebook? 
and I will give her a proper introduction. But next week on the YouTube channel, I am going to New York City in search of Thailand. So I'm very happy you are here. So before I bring her on the screen, I would like to give her a proper introduction. This is Janet. She is from the English era. Check her out. If you look in the chat right at the top should be her link to her YouTube channel. And she is great. She is one of the few English teachers who teaches live. And that's not easy to do. So she is a native English speaker from the Philippines. Yes, the Philippines. Filipino English. It's a thing. You often hear British English, American English, but there are a lot of people in the Philippines who are born speaking English or shortly after they're born, maybe a couple years after. So Janet, is it okay if I bring you on right now? Got a thumbs up. Let's do it. Janet. Hi, Brett. Welcome. <laughs> Sorry about the confusion. That has happened to me before where Facebook only wants to connect to my personal account. Who wants to see that? I don't know. It's my first time to see that. Well, thank <laughs> you so much for having me. <laughs> oh, it's great. Yeah. So would you like to uh, introduce yourself before we get into the questions? Of course. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for having me. We've been like planning, you know, since uh, before I came to the Philippines. And yeah, finally. <laughs> finally. Yeah, it's been a couple months, I think, right? <laughs> yes. So hi, everyone. I'm Janet, or you can uh, call me English Shara. I'm from the Philippines originally, but I'm currently here in Turkey. So I've been here for three years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've been and English as a foreign language instructor. This is like my um, my my job, really. Like I started as an EFL instructor um, and then I work in China and then I came to Turkey. So, yeah, awesome. <laughs> it's not that easy, but it was, it's actually fun. And now I'm creating content on uh, social media. So you can see me as English Shara. English Shara is actually, um, what do you call that? You said Filipino English is a thing. So yeah. In, so Philippine, in the Philippines, we have a similar um, language structure with Spanish. So there's like feminine and masculine. Like, yeah. So um, what's that? That? English Shara is a female person who can speak English in the Philippines. Oh, if you're awesome. a male, you're in English arrow. It's like that. <laughs> so I might be an English arrow over in the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I could change my name. Speak English with sure. English arrow. Yeah. Yes. So, yes, I'm married. I don't have kids yet, but um, I hope soon. So we'll see. And yeah, I think okay. that's all about me. I love chocolates, so. Okay, good. <laughs> hey, um, I have two children of my own. They are teenagers. You may want to rethink having kids. They they're expensive and they take a lot of time. Yeah. So maybe maybe don't have the kids. I don't know. Save some money. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We've been married I, for three years. Oh. Already. Okay. I love my children. So yeah, <laughs> they're pretty good. All right. So you're almost at. I think. You're going to be hitting a million followers on Facebook probably by really? the summer, right? I think so. Don't you? I hope so. Yeah. I'm not sure sometimes. Um, I'm just like shocked, surprised that, you know, it's blowing up. I'm not sure why, but I think there are like videos that are going viral or something. So yeah. I know I why. Follow? <laughs> yeah, I know why they're they're very entertaining. They're sometimes funny, always educational, always important. So yeah, mm -hmm. you're doing a great job. Yeah, we call that edutainment. Edutainment. Yeah. Yes. So Mahmood is asking in the chat. She is originally from the Philippines. That might have been an earlier question. So hey, Mary is here though. She is from Iraq. It's been a little while. Hey. Iran. Iran. Big difference. She's from Iran. All right, and uh, Pony's here. She's from Thailand. 
Just saying hello to a couple people there. All right. Can't forget the chat. So what Janet and I are going to do, well, I have the questions. So we are going to be asking questions. I would love it if you would answer in the chat as well. And if there is a difficult word, I do have a slide that might help you and it will pop up like that. Or I think it could pop up like this, right? Or like this or like this. That might be better. Yeah, kind of. That's too much. Well, let's go back. Okay. All right. We don't need to see too much of my face. All right, here we go. Here's the first question, Janet. And just in case people in the chat don't know how this works, we are going to be asking questions called would you rather questions. So if you were just joining us, you can't say neither. You can't say both. You have to pick one or the other. And some of these are really difficult. So feel free to answer these in the chat. And I'm going to ask Janet the first one. Would you rather go to a movie or to dinner alone? I'd rather go to dinner alone. Would you? I'm a foodie. I love eating. Okay. I have, a, yeah. I have a different answer. What about you? I would rather go to a movie alone because it's yeah. dark inside. Nobody would see that I don't have any friends. Mm. If I was eating dinner by myself, I think it would be awkward and people would be staring at me. Why is this guy alone? Yeah. And they might move their seat away from me. So mm. I, would pick the, I would pick the movie alone because it's dark. <laughs> but that makes sense. Okay. But you don't, you don't mind eating by yourself? Yeah, I love it. I think it's, it's normal in the Philippines. People love eating out. Okay. Whether you're alone or with your friends or with your family, it's totally fine. Even by themselves? Yeah. Okay. Like those and, uh, who are like working and then taking a break, going out for lunch, they usually like go to like sort of canteens or like fast food and they eat alone. Okay. Yeah. I think we, we may need to do a video on American culture versus Filipino culture at one point. Okay, sure. <laughs> because I know sometimes when you're eating alone, at least where I live, because I live mm -hmm. in a smaller town, people might think you're a little strange and just eat in your car. You know, why are you yeah. eating by yourself? But where in the Philippines did you live in Manila? Yes. Um, actually, near Manila, it's another city, but it's bigger than Manila. It's called Quezon City. It's still part of Metro Manila. Yeah. Oh, I got you. So I'm a, I, like a big city girl. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Um, and I heard that Manila has like 20 million people. I think more than that. More than that. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crowded. <laughs> Crazy. One of the biggest cities in the world, and I know New York City has like 8 million people, and we think that's big. Yeah. I've seen the traffic in Manila. Oh, Seems wow. Have you been to the Philippines? No, I would love to, but I've just, I've just watched videos about the Philippines. There's this one guy. His name is Drew Binsky. Have you heard mm -hmm. of that YouTuber? So I've his, heard of him. you haven't, I've heard of him once, but I'm not sure what exactly he does. Okay. So he's a, he's a traveler and he has traveled to every single country in the world. And the Philippines is his favorite. Now it might be because his wife is Filipino, but mm -hmm. he, lo he loves the Philippines. He just made a video from there a couple of weeks ago saying wow. how awesome the Philippines was. So okay. I want to go one day. Yeah, sure. Travel to the Philippines. And um, I highly recommend you go to uh, the beaches, the islands. Super duper. Uh, it's like a paradise. I've seen a couple from the beaches there. It looks amazing. Yeah. There's another guy, Harold Balder, I watch. And he has a friend, an American guy who married a woman from the Philippines and they live there now. It looks like a great time. Yeah. All right, so new channel member here, by the way, Sean Don. I don't know him well. I will get to know him, but he said he would prefer to go to a movie alone. 
Oh, lots of movies. Yeah. Lots of movies. Hmm. Just looking through the chat. Lots of movies. Yeah. Oh. Probably love to watch alone instead. Abedin says that. I would rather go to a movie alone because I can focus on the movie successfully. Mm. That makes sense. So, Janet, if you ever do have children, I will give you a little warning. You will probably get a lot of parenting advice when you, <laughs> you know, before you have children. Yeah. But those little children, you can hardly watch the movie because they're always asking questions. Oh, no. What just happened, Daddy? What what's going on in the movie, Daddy? Which I loved answering those questions, but it is hard to watch a movie. Yes. Right. So English English says go to dinner. All right. I have more questions for you, Janet. Is it okay if I ask you another okay. one? Sure. Okay. And none of the you've you've seen these questions before, right? Who says so, I've seen these questions before? Oh no, 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 never mind. Never mind. <laughs> so these these could be quite shocking. <laughs> <laughs> these are going to make you very uncomfortable, Janet. Okay, this is this is one that has some vocabulary that might be difficult for people in the chat. So most people probably know elevator, but I would like to talk about both of them after I ask the question. And maybe that will give you some time to think, Janet, because this could be a, this could be a, a hard question. Here. Yes. And I do need to give a shout out to somebody we both know, Miss English teacher. Mm -hmm. I stole this idea from her. She <laughs> likes to ask the, would you rather questions on her Instagram? Yes. So I was like, that's a great idea. So I stole it from her. <laughs> well, um, actually, in the Philippines, we call it fast talk. <laughs> what is it when you steal things from people? No, no. The oh. This kind of would you rather questions. So it's like um, you're going to answer fast. It's like broken ski lift or elevator or going to movies or dinner alone. So it's like you're going to answer fast like that. So we call oh, okay. that fast. It's a kind of game, too. Okay. So in American English, we might have um, something called a rapid, rapid fire round mm -hmm. where you, you can't even think, we can think about these questions today, but yeah, you can't think you just, but we'll take it a little slower today because okay. maybe if we speak too quickly, people won't understand us. All right, here we go. I got, let's see if I, this is the first, okay, right here. So there's our picture right there, by the way. There you go. Ski lift. That's what a ski lift is. And I can imagine in the Philippines, though, probably not a lot of ski lifts because it's so tropical. Yeah, there's no ski lift in the Philippines. Okay. I haven't even tried it here in Turkey. I've tried sledding, but not ski lift yet. So I'm curious. Okay. So the problem with a ski lift a lot of times is it's really high up in the air. So if you are stuck up there and you are scared of heights, that could be a problem. And then the, the elevator thing. I do want to teach this new word to people in the chat. And in English, we say claustrophobic. Or if you have claustrophobia, scared of small spaces. So, Janet, what do you think? Would you rather be stuck on a broken ski lift or would you rather be stuck in an elevator? Oh, this is a hard question, but I think I'd rather uh, be stuck on a broken ski lift. Okay, and, and why is that? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm not claustrophobic, okay, but um, I'm not sure. I'm just not really comfortable being in a very enclosed space. So if it is a broken ski lift, at least... Um, I think I can get help easily, <laughs> but people would see me <laughs> that I'm stuck in there. So, yeah. That's a great point. That's a great point. I did not think of that, but I am with you on this one. I would yeah. rather be stuck on a ski lift because unlike you, Janet, I am a little, I don't like small spaces. I am mm. a little claustrophobic. But I never thought, like, at least if you're out on a ski lift, you yeah. can wave somebody down like, hey, we're stuck. Yeah. It's a great point. Great point. 
And inside the elevator, it's not that easy to find, you know, signal, even if you have your phone. So it's not that easy to get help. Absolutely. Especially here in the United States, um, uh, our cell service is sometimes awful in elevators. How about Turkey? I would love to visit Turkey one day. Come um, here. We're going to cook Turkish food for you. <laughs> that sounds great. Some kebabs, maybe? Yeah. There are like little, tons of kinds of kebabs. Which one? <laughs> I've never had lamb, but maybe I would like to try lamb. Sure. Okay. There are also like kinds of ground meat kebab. Yeah. Ground meat wrapped in something like pita bread or something like that. Lots of kinds. I'm all over it. Um, I also have how far away. For, do you know the city of Cappadocia, Turkey? Yeah. Are you close to that? Um, it's actually in the middle at yeah middle part of Turkey. So we are living in the western, southwestern part, near Greece, that okay. part. So it's the weather is not very cold like that compared to the, um, yeah, middle part of Turkey, but Cappadocia is the best. You've been? A must see. Yes. Oh my gosh! Did you did you go in a hot air balloon? No. No. That but it's. I think it's better to. Um, see the hot air balloon like I don't know how many but like 200 hot air balloons at once oh wow like that yes because I'm kind of afraid that you know they're like that time there were like news that you know tourists are dying because you know they fall from hot air balloons something like that so we didn't dare to try but it was amazing and there are like tons of um was that um dry lands so wherever you go, like when you drive, it's not that boring because everywhere there's like that beautiful scenery. So Oh, nice. A lot of white. Is it like white scenery too? Yeah. Yeah. I would like to go see that. Maybe sure. one day. <laughs> All right, here we go, Janet. Now, I don't know because this next question, I think has a lot to do with age. So I am... Let's just say I'm quite a bit older than you, so we might have slightly different answers for this. I'm not sure, but would you rather make a phone call or would you rather send a text? I can't be in between, but I often send a text, actually. Yeah, I feel like it's easier for me to send a text because at least I can think. What to say? It's a good point. It's yeah. a good point. <laughs> or sometimes if I'm busy like that, I cannot easily um, call back, you know, the person. So um, I send a text message. But if you would ask my husband, he would prefer a phone call for faster communication. Really? Yeah. Now, is he, is, he an, is he an elderly man like myself or is he young <laughs> like you? <laughs> Not really. He's two years older, yeah, than okay. I am. So he's still quite young. Yeah, I think a lot of people my age like sending phone calls, and I'm always a little nervous. I'm like, "Why are you calling me? Just send me a text." Yeah. Well, I just got a text from one of my friends. I'm very popular. So, <laughs> but um, sometimes my friends call me, and I'm like, I don't want to talk to anybody. Yeah, so I think people my age will call. I'm more comfortable with a text. Mm -hmm. And I like what you said about, you know, if they're not around, they can just get my text and answer me when it's convenient for them, when it's easy for them. So, yeah, well, the Vietnam Vietnam is in the house. OK, so Mary, she's back with us from Iran. Depends on my mood. Sometimes calling. Sometimes texting. Yeah. Mary. I mean, Mary, I don't think we, we have to pick one or the other. These are tough questions. There's no in between. Right. <laughs> All right. Okay. So more maybe some people just joining us, but Janet, where are you from? Why is your English perfect? 
<laughs> it's not perfect though, but I'm from the Philippines. Yes, it's in the, where is that? Southeast Asia. Yeah, and English is our second language, official language. So I think it's easier for us to pick up the language, understand it. But what's what we struggle about is how to communicate. We don't have much confidence, you know. Oh, yes. Yeah, so it's our second language. That's, I think, the reason why I could easily speak English. That's great. I thought you were, I, I thought you were a native English speaker. Really? Yeah. Um, because the research I did, um, I think there were almost a million people in the Philippines who, whose families speak English, they grow up speaking English. So, mm -hmm. I mean, English and the, the United States was kind of over there for a while. They took over from the Spanish. So I imagine is there a lot of Spanish spoken in the Philippines as well? Oh, my goodness. There are like how many? More than 100 dialects in the Philippines. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wherever you go, you can't easily understand them, especially if they talk in their dialect. So we have Filipino language. That's the official language. So if you go everywhere, you can, you know, communicate. But if you go to a place where there's a dialect, sometimes... You don't know, maybe they're talking about you or something. Mm. But there's one dialect that is, I think, closer to Spanish. It's in the northern part of the Philippines. Oh, interesting. Yeah. But most of our words are, like, adopted from Spanish. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see. Just looking through the chat here to make... Uh... Okay, we've got some people agreeing with you, Janet. Some people agreeing. Okay. Here's my buddy from Italy, Arone. <laughs> yeah oh so he he's a young guy um i forgot how old Aaron is but i believe he is 27 he still says he'd rather yeah. make a phone call i don't know i'm indonesia Luis. Hi. hope you're doing well all right janet are you ready for another question yeah sure okay. i have more for you this one how about this would you rather read an awesome book or watch a good movie? I'd rather watch a good movie. And why yeah. is that? I like reading, but I think I am a visual learner. So I can easily picture things when I see them. So when I watch a good movie, it's easier for me to like absorb the story like that compared to reading, you know, word for word. So yeah, I'd rather watch a good movie. What about you? I also would rather watch a good movie just because it, like you said, it's quicker. And, mm -hmm. and I know we've talked, we're both very busy. It's hard to find a, a really like a long period of time to read a book. So yeah. I would rather watch a movie as well. Because you could yeah. probably watch four or five movies in the time right. that it takes to read a book. Yeah, that's true. What was the last movie you watched? The, la Ooh, the last movie I watched, I actually went to the movies with my son about two weeks ago. And we saw mm -hmm. a movie called Cocaine Bear. Oh, I've heard of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would recommend it if you don't mind gore. There's a little bit of blood and everything, but Ooh. it's kind of funny. Every time somebody loses an arm, yeah, it's funny. So if you like that humor, <laughs> you can't take it too seriously. Is that okay for kids? Like, yeah, my it was my son's idea, and he is uh, almost sixteen, so. Mm. Yeah, but young kids, no. Don't don't bring young kids yeah, to yeah, cocaine bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, do you know the story of cocaine bear? I've read an article about that. It's like a bear who's consuming cocaine or something or who's um hiding cocaine something like that. Yeah, he he ate yeah. a lot of <laughs> yeah, he, a, a plane <laughs> dropped some cocaine and yeah. he ate he ate like 75 pounds of cocaine. Wow. Yeah. So, but then the movie just kind of goes crazy and it's not realistic anymore. 
Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's not for everybody, but <laughs> so Mary, the, I, Mary says that she would rather read a book. I get it. I get it. Mm-hmm. Columbia's in the house. All right, Lorenzo, I would rather watch a good movie, but I think I fall asleep pretty easily when I read a book, unless it's an audio book. Mm, great point. Yeah. How about this? One of Modegs is here. Got, Modegs is a trickster in the chat. You need to watch yeah. out for him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. If he ever joins one of your lives, Janet, watch out for this guy right there. Modegs. Okay. Yeah, watch out for him. I'll note on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I would rather read a book. Reading a book enriches our vocabulary. That, as a reading teacher myself, Olge, who is also in Turkey, by the way. Oh. I would have to agree with you. Okay. So it's a great way to improve your vocabulary. Yes, okay. for sure. All right. So a lot of people are disagreeing with us. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Cambodia's in the house. Oh, what's the difference between would you rather or would you prefer? It's a great question, Janet. Would you like to answer this or should I? Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty easy answer. There's no difference. It's basically the same. The would form you... is different only. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Uh, in what way? Maybe you can uh, teach us a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I eat grammar every day. So. <laughs> and I'm not much of a grammar guy either. So but. I don't like it. I actually used to hate English. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, ugh, I don't like English at all. So was but, this when you were learning it in school? Was it? Is that why you hated English? Because you had to learn it in school, maybe? Yeah, and I feel like it's the English of the for the rich people only. So if, oh. I feel like if I'm gonna speak English, I'm a social climber, something like that. Okay. Yeah, but <laughs> so if you if you drink a drink, you have to like stick your pinky out when you when you speak English. <laughs> Chin up in the air. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, I, I just realized that um, if I don't know English, um, I it's it's a very big advantage if you know English. Yeah, I totally agree. Yes. So going back to would rather and would prefer. Okay. Yeah. Let me find that. Okay. So there's no and- difference. Uh, there's no difference in their meaning. Okay. There's only difference with their structure like that i made a youtube video about that and um it highlights that um the only difference between would you rather and would you prefer is yeah the 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 verb after would rather and would prefer so basically the verb after would prefer is um to infinitive (laughs) like that super grammar but Yeah. yeah like i prefer to have dinner alone for example Or I'd rather um, having dinner alone, something like that. So there's a slight difference when it comes to their form. Perfect. See, that's what I'm saying. Janet can teach live. She's very (laughs) good at what she does. Go check her out. YouTube channel. It's right at the top of the chat. All right. Very well said. Oh, there you go. So Mode, he wrote it down for us. Mm -hmm. He's He's not tricking us right now. Cool. Yeah. He agrees with you. All right. So we have another question here. This is a difficult one, I think. Would you rather explore space or would you rather explore the ocean? So when I hear this question, I think getting into like a submarine and having to go deep down into the ocean to explore. What would you rather do? I think I'd rather explore space. Okay. Yes. I love the sea. I love swimming, but I can't stay for a long time. So I've observed that. But I, I like it when I wear my goggles and then, you know, see the fish like that. Or if I'm inside a submarine, um, I told you, like, I won't be able to feel like comfortable in an enclosed space so 
if I explore space, I think um, that would be more like magical, like that, you know. It's a great what about you? Mm. This is the hardest question for me so far, but I'm glad you answered first because I'm going to change my answer again and kind of okay. go off what you said. <laughs> Because that submarine thing with all that water pressing down on me would be scary. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, I'm just stealing your answer. Okay, Janet. And I, I like what you said about being kind of new, you know, maybe I would be famous for exploring space and it's the opposite of being enclosed. There's like a lot of yeah. area around there. Yeah. But Janet, I have to agree with you. I'm changing <laughs> my answer to space. <laughs> I like it. Oh, um, Muhammad is wondering how do you master the American accent? I have a I have an answer, but I would love to hear your answer, Janet. Oh well, um, how could I start? <laughs> could I could I change it to is it important to master the American accent? Maybe it depends on your target, but as long as you're understood understandable then you're good to go some people um they just you know learn english because they want to communicate but they want to level up their english so they want to polish their accent something like that for me what i did was i used to be a radio junkie so i listen to radio a lot i love music so i love singing and I sing English songs all the time. I um, imitate the radio DJs that I hear and they speak in English. And that actually encouraged me to love English, to start loving English. It's because I like the way they talk. I like um, how they banter, uh, their humor. So um, I think that encouraged me. And I found myself um, talking to myself in English alone. Okay. Yeah. So I think I was able to adapt and I'm just a kind of person who's fascinated with people um, changing their voices, voice actors, voice talents. So if they speak English and it's just kind of fascinating and I also want to be like them, something like that. So I always have that model. Yeah. All right. That's a great, a great answer. I was almost going to, I was laughing because I was going to say, oh, could you sing a little for us? But I, I would not want, Janet, I would not do that to you. I would not want to embarrass you like that. But uh, yeah, I think that's an amazing answer. And I will just say that as an American who probably has an American accent, um, there are like 300 million of us. You know, it's, it's kind of boring if everyone sounds alike. So you're going to have an accent no matter what. I have an accent compared to somebody living in California or somebody living in New Zealand. We all have an accent. So I'll just go back to what Janet said. As long as you're understandable, keep your accent, be proud of it, and move on. Yeah. yeah. Focus on building your vocabulary more than trying to sound you know, like somebody else. Hope that helps. Yeah, thanks, Janet. Yeah, sure. Okay. And Tanya yeah, in the Philippines, people love karaoke, so um, <laughs> it's not um, really a surprise if we can sing. <laughs> I saw. I just watched. I watched the. I watch a lot of YouTube, right? Yeah. When I'm like sitting down and editing or whatever, there's always a, a YouTube video on, and uh, this guy I, I love to watch. His name's Harold Balder. I think I mentioned him earlier mm -hmm. and he went on a boat like a ferry because there are so many islands right in the Philippines mm -hmm. are, are a lot of ferries and he was on the ferry and they had a karaoke machine set up. So yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> cool. And my, my friend here, Audie, the Thai, he's from Thailand. He loves karaoke as well. Sure. So, oh, look at that. Even everybody knows Audie's a, the karaoke guy. So <laughs> Janet, are these questions too stressful for you? I don't want to stress you out. I have a couple, <laughs> more, <laughs> have a couple more questions. It's totally okay. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> okay, perfect. Oh, this, okay, hang on. Okay, the next one, after this one, I'm very curious about. 
This one's good too, though, since you have a spouse and we can talk about spouse. Um, but would you rather go on? Oh, maybe I need to talk about cruise too. But would you rather go on a cruise with friends or with your spouse? So, Janet, do you mind if I just explain to some people in the chat who might not know? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, just so everybody knows, a cruise looks like that. So, you're on a boat probably for a long time. I just mentioned ferry. So, a ferry is probably short. It's not very luxurious. It's probably pretty cheap to go from one place to another. And you probably get there quickly. A cruise is a vacation. You're on there for a while. And that is a cruise boat. Now, spouse is a great word to know in English because it takes away the gender. It's not a wife. It's not a husband. But you can use spouse for either either name. So spouse, even if I was married to a man, which, which is possible. I'm married to a woman, but spouse, it just gets rid of the gender. Mm -hmm. All right. So hopefully that is helpful for everyone in the chat. So Janet, back to you. Would you rather go on a cruise with friends or would you rather go with your spouse? That's a tough question, oh, but no. I'd rather go on a cruise with my spouse. Do you think he's watching today? <laughs> he's sleeping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you could say whatever you wanted. He will never know. But you still chose him. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Um, he's fun to be with. And uh, wherever you put him, he talks. So. Oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah. So of the two of you, is he more outgoing? And are you more shy? Or are you both pretty outgoing? We're both. Yeah. We, we both love uh, traveling, going out and meeting people. Yeah. And preparing food for people. That's what we love doing. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Yeah. I think when yes. my wife and when, when, we, when we go out together, she is definitely the more talkative. I'm a little mm -hmm. bit more of an introvert. I sometimes feel awkward when I'm at a party. So she just, she just, says hi to everybody and then that helps me so i'm like hey what's going on but yeah yeah she's the more outgoing one i would um i would also say my spouse yeah i have a few close friends but at my age and, and probably your age too now janet it's like our friend group is is married and so mm -hmm. i don't see my friends as often as my spouse so yeah. Uh, I would, I would just, I like, we've been together for 26 years and it's mm -hmm. super fun. So yeah. For, and she, some, she sometimes watches these live streams, so <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. So <laughs> definitely my wife. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just kidding. I would definitely, I don't think she's in the chat right now, but um, just in case she watches. No, I can, I can imagine going uh, with anybody else. Yeah. Spouse. Both mm -hmm. genders, yeah. All right. You ready for another one, Janet? Sure. Okay. Oh, Hungry's in the house. All right. Just in case you're joining us uh, late here, Janet's information to her YouTube channel is right up in the chat. Give her a follow. Super entertaining. Super helpful. She will definitely help you improve your English for sure. Thank you. And, and it's always nice to hear somebody else teaching, you know, because some people like might like the way I teach, but then when they hear somebody else speaking a different way, it might help with different things. I do that a lot at my school. If um, somebody doesn't quite understand what I'm saying, another mm -hmm. teacher might teach it. And we do that for each other. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm not a good math person, but mm -hmm. the math teachers do that quite a bit because you explain math one way and like, uh, but if somebody else explains it, it can be very helpful. So yeah, yeah, I always say that find, find other good English teachers who are good and watch them too. Sure. All right. This is, I think this is my favorite question of them all because I have another question after this one. 
Okay. <laughs> but would you rather eat a meal of cow tongue or octopus? How do they taste like? I don't have any idea. Neither. <laughs> cow tongue or octopus? I'm not sure. I I think a cow tongue will do. Okay. Instead of the yeah. octopus? I don't know. Probably octopus has sometimes. Yeah, in the Philippines, we eat lots of seafood. So sometimes people would have that food poisoning or something. So oh, no. probably a cow tongue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, very they interesting. For you. <laughs> yeah, I think um, the cow tongue, if it's slow cooked all day, you know, it, it might be okay. And then we have too close. And then we have the um, the little sucky things on the bottom, like a plunger. Yeah. I don't even know what you call that in English on the octopus. The things that the suction cups, maybe. Yeah. Um, that might be a little weird in my mouth, but I'm sure there are people all around the world who are like, I eat octopus every day or once a week or. I eat cow tongue. So for some people, this might be very easy, but I know where I live and in the Philippines, the cow tongue and an octopus is not common. No. No. Octopus, we, squid is pretty common. Here too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I would, I would probably go with, I would probably go with octopus, I guess. Okay. Just just to try because the cow tongue's really thick. So I think if I don't like it, I will be able to chew the octopus quickly and swallow it. But mm -hmm. with the cow tongue, it might take a little while. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, that's true. Octopus, but it would be like kind of slimy, you know? Yeah. yeah. Good point. All right. My next question, though is this i don't know exactly how to say this so i am going to defer to you but every time i hear about filipino street food this comes up so i would love it if you would explain it to me and everyone in the chat who doesn't know what this type of food is it's balut some people call it balut in, in Philippines. So it's actually um, developing embryo, duck, fertilized duck egg. It's like that. And I've tried it once when I was a kid. It tastes like chicken soup. Oh, really? Yeah, it has something like, uh, what's that? Um, what do you call that? Yeah, it's it's not a pure egg. Like it's not a pure duck. Yes. When you open it, uh there's like some water that people um like try to sip first before they eat the whole thing. Okay. And it tastes like chicken soup. Interesting. Yeah. Is it cooked or uncooked? It's boiled. Boiled. Okay. Yes. So you would say it's good. I would say it's good. Okay. I don't know what to say, but the texture is also different, you know? Chewy? But of course, for some people, they would feel like, why am I going to eat an undeveloped egg? <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, yeah, if you would go to the Philippines, you must try. It's usually, you would usually hear um, a person who is selling it on the street at night oh. so they have a basket with that and then they will shout on the street yeah so okay. for everyone who wants to eat it like a midnight snack mm. yeah now you Jan should have it with like um vinegar or salt oh i yeah. could do that okay now i i don't talk about drinking alcohol on this channel too much just because there are many people around the world who do not drink alcohol. But when you're talking about street food at about midnight, 
Is that because a lot of people are leaving bars and they're looking for something to eat? I don't know. It's just a thing in the Philippines. Like we eat five times a day. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for some reason, I don't know. Like, for example, for my family, we eat uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. Okay. In the middle of breakfast and lunch, there is a snack. And in the middle of lunch and dinner, there's also that snack, you know, okay. and actually a midnight snack. So six. Before really? Do you, <laughs> do you ever sleep in the Philippines? Yeah. Do, do a lot of people we wake up it. later? I'm sorry. We love eating. I don't know. That's awesome. But now how does that happen? So Janet, if I, if I think of the typical, if I'm going to stereotype, I think of the typical Filipino person, they're, they're not that heavy. But when I think of the typical American person, they're pretty heavy. Well, how, yeah. how does everybody stay so thin in the Philippines and they eat a lot? It's just like Italy. There are, yeah. most people are pretty, th how does that happen? What are we doing wrong? I don't know. We eat rice actually oh. for breakfast, rice, lunch, dinner. We eat rice, but that I think helps. the weather, the tropical weather, also affects us. You know, yes, we we work. We, yeah, I think the weather is so hot that people just want to work like that. So we want to move, something Good like point. that. So. Because yeah. in the it's very cold where I live. So in the winter, when I'm just sitting around the house all day and just kind of eating, and then I go in the summer and put my bathing suit on, I'm always surprised. Like, whoa, how, how did I gain these 10 pounds? And it happens every year. So yeah. maybe that's the key. Yeah, sometimes you just yeah. don't see what's happening to your body when you're all covered in clothes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. So it looks like uh, Lorenzo also, maybe from the Philippines, says it's true. We eat five times a day. <laughs> oh, we're doing something wrong here in the United States. And the snacks we eat is not just like um, chips like that. It's not like that. Mm. Sometimes you would find people um, eat fried banana like oh, that's that. That's healthy. It's like... Um, we have a lot of kinds of bananas and this kind of banana is not for, it's not like a fruit that you can just peel and eat. This is more of like a um, banana that you can cook with uh, like a dish like that. So we fry that and we um, use brown sugar with that as well. Or we wrap it in, what do you call that? Um, it's a very thin sheet. I'm not pretty sure what it is exactly. Is it like dough is it a dough like the one that you use for spring rolls oh yeah we might i think it's like a is it like a phyllo dough or something like something i think like it that. comes very thin yeah, like, yeah like a little page i think it comes from the italian yes, or something yes. like a, a little yeah interesting do you yeah. know what we do have you been to the united states janet not yet i'd love to well we we fry things here too but <laughs> yeah. um it's not bananas we fry butter Ooh. Yeah, I've never had it. But can you imagine butter? It's not very good for you. And then frying it in deep oil. But it's it's a thing. Butter. And we also fry candy bars. Wow. Have you had a have you ever had a fried Snickers bar? <laughs> oh, not good. yet. Have you had a fried wow. Oreo? Fried Oreo. So it's like you melt things. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not healthy. So yeah. Yeah. I, I figured out what we're doing wrong here in the United States. <laughs> we're frying the wrong things. <laughs> All right. The banana. Does this make sense? Uh, banana de ta de tata? That sound that sounds Spanish. Banana of the earth, maybe. I'm not sure. It's as big as a basketball player's leg. Wow. It's pretty big. <laughs> yes that's awesome like oh but he's he's from brazil oh sorry so that might be portuguese yeah okay all right another question janet sure okay and i know we're almost an hour here i don't want to yeah. keep you too long so but 
This is uh this is super fun. I knew this would be a good conversation and I told myself we need to stop at the hour mark because I'm pretty sure I could talk to you all day. Yeah. So, <laughs> but I don't want to take this is a is it it's pretty late for you, right? It's um maybe Not dinner really. time. It's just five in the afternoon. Oh, okay. Almost it's ten o'clock here. Ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Got another question. Let me just find it. Okay. Being from the Philippines, where it's nice and tropical, and you said you live in southern Turkey, where it's also hot, would you rather be too hot or too cold? Ooh. <laughs> I'd rather be too hot. Really? <laughs> I have allergy when it's winter okay me too yes and it's terrible so i think because i grew up in a tropical weather so i can't easily adapt to winter like cold season so i'd rather be too hot that makes a lot of sense i'm gonna go in the opposite direction and i'm gonna say i would rather be too cold because I can always put on more clothing. If my hands are cold, I can put on gloves. I can put on a hat, mm -hmm. but there's only, and I, and I grew up in Maine where it's really cold. So I'm used wow. to being cold. Yeah. So yes. I think that makes sense for us. Yeah, I think so. I also don't like the idea of, you know, having layers all the time. <laughs> right. You don't? Because it feels heavy. Mm. Yes, I'd rather wear a t-shirt and you know it feels really light. See, I like the layers because I don't I don't realize how fat I'm getting. So I just put on more layers, which is great. <laughs> so Lino says, now this is you can't do this, Lino. Cold, just cold, not too cold. No, the question is too cold. You have to be yeah, too no. cold. Yes, Aster, I know Americans eat a lot of sweets. Yes, it's shameful. Okay, bananas, ooh. I've never had a plantain. Are plantains in um, the Philippines? I think so. Okay. Yeah. I know they're very popular in Cuba. Oh, Afghanistan is in the house. Yeah, we never fry banana. We never <laughs> don't fry butter. Yeah. I do not recommend it. Yeah, that could be bad. All right, Freddie's from France, and he says, "I hate winter and cold weather." I don't oh, like it. it's not very fun. <laughs> All right, mm, how about this one? Sibling. Maybe oh. I should talk about sibling here too, sure. because it's a lot like spouse. It's just mm -hmm. it's brother sister but you don't have to worry about gender so janet would you rather be the youngest or the oldest sibling hmm. i'm a middle child actually <laughs> we are how many of us six. Oh my I have goodness five siblings yeah i have four sisters i have one very um the the youngest is um a boy so I have okay. one brother. So the rest of us is girls. So I don't know. Maybe I'd rather be the youngest. <laughs> okay. And why is that? Yes. I I don't know. But I see most parents have their attention to the youngest rather than the oldest. So it's probably, yeah, my answer. What about you? Um, well, I am actually the oldest sibling. And I have one younger brother and one younger sister. And with my, my brother is six years younger than me. Mm -hmm. And I think my parents, you're right. They, they did give him more attention and he got to break the rules a lot. Yeah. But I would, but I, I didn't beat him up really, but you know, I could, I could kind of throw him around a little bit. So <laughs> I don't know if I would want that to happen to me. So yeah. I think I would rather still be the oldest. Yeah. Okay. I, I think the parents make mistakes with the oldest. So 
there's that, but at least I wouldn't have to be bullied by my older siblings. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That makes sense. <laughs> it's a tough, these questions are tough because right. there's always one thing that's like, oh. Right, Ooh. that's true. Maria's here. She's from Argentina, by the way. Mm-hmm. Oh, and yes, um, I do have quite a few people that I, I talk to from Argentina. Shout out to Cecilia, Williams, Maria. And they're having a really hard time down there with the heat wave. It's just not ending. Lots and lots of heat. Wow. Yeah. In our members chat, we have team winter and team mm -hmm. summer. <laughs> cool. I'm, I'm team summer because I just, I like it. I would rather be yeah. hot. But not too hot though. Not too hot. Yeah. Whoa. So Audie from Thailand, 12 siblings. Wow, that's Jeez. a lot. That is a lot. Well, now we don't we don't have to be you don't have to remind me most of the Americans are overweight. Yes, I know. Maybe it's because <laughs> of the frying and butter and yes, I think it is. But it tastes so good. Oh, farwa, farwa. I'm going to pretend I didn't read that. It's our, own, it's our own fault though. It's our own fault. All right. How about this? So you've already said that you're you're a city girl. You like the city. So I'm I might know the answer already, but I will ask anyways. Would you rather live at the top of a tall New York City apartment or at the top of a mountain? Well, this is pretty tough because the place where I am right now is like it's not a big city at all. When I first came here, I felt really bored. Because at night, it was so dark. And it, I, I came actually from China to Turkey. So there, the buildings are so tall and every building has dancing lights like that. So when I came here, it was really too, it was awful for me. But I got used to it. And I'm loving it because it's just natural. Mm -hmm. can breathe more um can breathe the fresh air you know yeah but as a city girl i think i still pick the new york city apartment building Very interesting. <laughs> i love lights that's the thing my husband knows that um i love seeing fancy lights at night so i think i would enjoy it more if i live at the top of a tall new york city building okay you I thought you were going to go one way and then you went the other way. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. You know, so to answer this, I'm just, my wife would love to live in New York city. And so I could probably go either way with this one, but I will pick New York city just because of my wife. And we were just there a couple, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And for a big city, it's really yeah. well organized. Like mm -hmm. even the traffic and to walk around, it's very well organized. And from what I've seen about Manila, it is just chaos, right? Crazy people walking in between traffic and yeah. all that. <laughs> yes, because we have like uh, houses are pretty common in the Philippines. So and unlike Turkey here, apartment buildings like, you know, five floors, seven floors, something like that. But in the Philippines, you would find small houses like that. So I, uh, and houses that are in front or beside a big house, a tall building. So the, the urban planning is not really organized. Right. Yeah. You can see houses, small houses beside um, a big shopping mall, for example. Really? <laughs> yes. Interesting. That's, that's maybe something that we can talk about if we ever do a video with Filipino and American culture, because we have certain, certain laws in certain mm -hmm. places um, where that wouldn't happen. Or, yeah. Yeah. We can get into that maybe a little later, but sure. Janet, I don't want to take too much of your time. I want to thank yeah. you so much for joining us here. We've been going over an hour <laughs> Are there any last words you would like to say? Maybe shout out your channel, your social medias one more time before you go? 
<laughs> sure. Thank you so much, Brent, for having me here. And finally, um, it happened already. It did. We've been actually planning it for how many months now? But thank know. you, thank you so much. I really appreciate um, your invite, and um, it's really fun to talk with you. So, yeah, what can I say? Um, I'm just here creating videos, <laughs> teaching <laughs> online. <laughs> if you want to follow me, you can just uh, check me out on social media. That's English Shara. My name is Janet. Um, people would address me as Shara or Era, but it's not my mm. name. So it's just English Shara because it means a female person who can speak English. Basically, that's what it means. So yeah, um, check out my content. Um, I create videos as well. So yeah. All right, Janet. Thank you so much. I'm just going to say goodbye to a few people here. And maybe I'll talk to you really quickly after. Sure. Okay. Thank you, Janet. Thank once you again. so much. Awesome. All right. That was Janet. Check out her information in the description. Check it out in the chat. You will not be disappointed. She's very funny, but also very informative. She will definitely help you improve your English. And before I leave here, I would like to say hello. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to a few people before we go. Maria, I hope you stay cool down there in Argentina. Arroni. Thank you for moderating the chat. Thank you, Emir. Hope you stay cool down there in Brazil. Fawa. Oh, Afghanistan. Kabul. I would love to go to Afghanistan. I promise. I was looking it up this week. Could an American go to Afghanistan right now? Afghanistan is at a level four. It said, and when the United States says a country is at level four, they recommend not traveling, but that is huge on my list. Afghanistan. It looks awesome. Saz says, Janet was so sweet. Good to get to know you. All right. Thank you. Know that Audie, Freddie, hope you all have a good week. Hilton. I remember you from Brazil. Let's do it. Thank you so much. Adios, amigos.